Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Buppet. Welcome back to another StarCraft 2 Daily Master. has got an awesome ZVZ for you here today. Let's introduce the players. Up the top left side, top left side of the map is Mr. Mini Razor. He is 20 years of age from Sweden. Plays for Imaginary Gaming. And his opponent down the bottom right side of the map is none other than Mr. Snoot. He is 24 years of age from Norway. Plays for Team Liquid. Uh, yeah, it says HyperX, but he definitely plays for Team Liquid. And very, very awesome player is Mr. Snoot. Looks like they're both going for the exactly the same build. The pull into hatch timing. And yeah, should be pretty awesome. Uh, Snoot getting that queen out just a little bit earlier, but... Yeah, I'd say it's fine. Lots of pauses going on here. Obviously, a bit of connectivity issues going on. Something like that. But still, looks to be an awesome game. Even this, yeah, it's a bit of a short game. So, we'll see exactly what sort of craziness is going to be going on. It's probably going to be lings and banelings and all that sort of stuff. Oh, excuse me. My voice is starting to get very croaky and gravelly this morning. I don't know what's going on, but... Yes, not good, not good at all. I was hoping to cast some Harry Smash games this morning, actually, because I haven't cast any of them yet. I've got a bunch of replays, I need to start casting them, but... Yeah, I don't know, if my voice is off, then... I don't think I'll be casting anything, I'll probably wait a few hours, see how that goes. But, I'm also in a tournament today, I'm in this um, Bronze, Silver, Gold League tournament that um, I think MGG is organising, so... Hopefully, I can actually make it past the first round of a tournament, which... Every other tournament I entered into is just for fun. I never make it past the first round, so very, very nice. But Mr. Snoot manages to get past all of those guys. Oh, the workers actually go for it, but it still manages to escape. The queen is going to try and take it out. Finally does go down, but that was a full scout off of the entire base. And Snoot saw that no gas was down for Mr. Mini Razor, which is interesting, so... Maybe you can assume from that that he's going for a fast third base with a lot of macro, but that doesn't make sense in a ZVZ. You really want to get some sort of tech early on, so you really need some sort of gas early on. So... He has to assume that Mini Razor is going for gas at some point, and indeed he is. He just went for the double gas as soon as Snoot left the map, which was very, very smart of him. But of course Snoot can just roll on in there and scout the gas whenever he wants it. In fact, he's already scouted the gas with his overlord, so he is not fooled at all. So we'll see exactly what happens. We've got a lot of stuff coming out from Snoot. We've got an Evo chamber, we've got a Roach Warren. Mini Razor not doing a lot. He's gonna manage to get his Ling in there. What is he gonna see? If he sees the Roach Warren, that is it. But I don't know if he did. He did not. Did not scout that Roach Warren. So, Snoot's secret is safe for now, and that is going to be very, very important, because if Mini Razor decides to go for some sort of Baneling, Ling speed sort of play, eh, I don't know how that's going to work out against Roaches. Might not work out at all, but he doesn't seem to be building any sort of army, so whatever tech he's going for, seems to be a little bit of a way down the road. Um, whereas, Snoot, I assume, is just going to start mass building Roaches, going for some sort of 10 minute push here. And Mini Razor, Mini Razor needs to have something to deal with that. Lings are not going to be the best, but if he has an absolute crap load of them, then they may be able to hold off a little bit. The roaches come up the ramp, the queens are in front of them, the links flank them from behind. I can see the roaches losing that battle, definitely, but it's going to require a lot of links, and it's going to require really, really nice micro from Mini Razor, because of course we've seen so many times that roaches just get surrounded and they just shoot their way out because they got so much health and they got so much damage they can afford to just sit there and just shoot their way out especially when they're dealing with lings and queens and stuff like that but we do have a bailing nest coming out uh, do we don't see a lair I thought maybe he was going for mutiling for a sec but it appears not and this bailing nest is I don't know it's a little bit later than I would have expected, but then again, he is not really facing Bailings on the other side. I'm not sure if he knows he is or he isn't, but yeah. Maybe this Bailing Nest is just a precautionary measure because he doesn't know what's in Snoot's space. He has no idea whatsoever, whereas Snoot has a fairly good idea of what's in Mini Razor's space. Or sort of. Sort of a pretty good idea. So, 
we'll just have to have a look. So we've got a bunch of roaches coming out. The Overlord sees them, and the cat is out of the bag here. So, Mini Razor, <coughs> perhaps going for the third base that early, not the best of ideas. However, Snoot does have a third base now. Massive, massive amount of links coming out there. The roach is going to be backing off into the corner. Hopefully, they will be able to survive all these links, but it really is. I mean, with the Queen DPS, I would say potentially no. There's so many Lings, and the Queens are really, really doing a massive amount of damage. Lings just running off there, and finally, they've basically run up because they're like, yeah, the Queens can handle this, they can finish everything off. And now the Lings running across, and let's have a look here. 21 Roaches dead, 33 Lings dead, so didn't work out all that well for Mr. Snoot there, and the Lings managing to get in there. No way they're going to plug that gap, and the gap widens as they destroy a building. More roaches coming out. They tried to block. If they managed to block this round, then maybe Snoot would have been okay, but they didn't, and the Lings got a full surround. <laughs> and there's just way too many Lings. Like, an in absolutely insane. I mean, Mini Razor's economy isn't better than Snoot's, but the fact is he's building cheaper units. He's building a lot of them. He's not even bothering to build banners. He's just sending straight up Lings in there. They're destroying absolutely any everything in sight. And look at the army size, 52 over 18, 53 over 18. That was just overwhelming amounts of lings. I, I'd almost call it the bronze level strategy where you just build up units and just a massive amount of lings and just go out and own your opponent. And it works really, really well in bronze level, I can tell you, because a lot of people do it to me. But of course, Midi Razor doing it with a bit more finesse, getting the macro up there, getting everything beautiful. So he probably had twice as many links as a bronze level player would have at that point. But the technique is the same. You just get a massive amount of low level units. You just run out there, just like the um, five racks of one command center sort of marine push from the Terran early in the game. You're, you're teching up, you're getting your robotics bay, all that sort of crap. And suddenly there's 20 marines in front of your base, and it's just like, what the hell, I've only got two stalkers, you bastard. So, that's it. Um, Snoot had a very, very decent chance, but he was just overwhelmed. This is the absolute case of just being overwhelmed by Zerg units. I mean, there's just so many links, too much, it's just a way too much. And he did time it beautifully to have 1-1 one, one as well. So, that was very, very nice, that's something you see in Bronze League games. So anyway, that's it. Very, very short game, but very enjoyable all the same. You don't see roaches beaten by lings every day, but you don't see this many lings every day either. So that was impressive. And thank you very much for watching this game. I do hope that you enjoyed it, and I will catch you guys tomorrow with another one. Stay tuned for that.